Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. Today, uh, I'm drifting away from what I normally do for Morning Moments in interviewing an individual. Uh, today, I, I'm going to talk about and give a tribute to, to my brother, uh, Jack Kirkendall. You see, I've asked Jack to be on Morning Moments several times, but he said, that's not my thing, Andy, that's your thing. He didn't want the lim limelight. He didn't want to be recorded. Uh, he just continued to do the task of what he did, pastor. And uh, uh, Jack went on to be with the Lord uh, a few days ago. And I thought, well, if, if Jack was going to be on my show, and uh, I'd ask him, what do you do and why do you do it? What would you say? Well, since he didn't agree to be on my show, I'm going to share what I thought he would, he, he, why he did what he did, what he did. What he did was uh, be married for over half a century. He loved his wife, Miriam. Uh, they were, he gave me an example of how to treat your wife. He gave me an example of how to be a godly husband and a godly father. Uh, what else did he do? He, he just loved people. And that's why he not only was married for a half a century plus, but he also was a, a pastor and ordained for, for 50, 51 years. And like my father, uh, my father was ordained for 66 years. And although I, I started down the path of following uh, what my father did and, and then my brother, uh, I switched over to nursing and retired as a nurse 30 years. Uh, but here's, here's an example of my brother, who's six years older than me, who, why did he do what he did, why did he do what he did is because he loved God with all his heart. And he served the Lord uh, for all those years and many different churches through the years, uh, day after day, sermon after sermon, song after song, because that's just what you do when you serve the Lord, you follow him. So I don't want this morning moments to be uh, a sad morning moments. Please don't get me wrong. Although I'm certainly go going to miss my brother. I, I want it to be not only a tribute to a wonderful man, but I want it to be a tribute to pastors. And I want to talk to pastors and you about your pastor. What greater tribute can I give my brother than talk about the ministry of pastoring. Um, for some of you, I would encourage you to support your pastor. That's right, support them. Not just financially, but support them and the vision they have. God's given each one of our pastors a vision, and they work and pray and seek God for what what their vision is. And sometimes people attend a church and they go, well, that's not what we want, but you're not the pastor. You're to support the pastor that has the vision. So support that pastor. And, and I'm going to say something that your pastor would probably never tell you. If you can't support your pastor and your vision, then Maybe that's not the church for you, and maybe you ought to get out of there and go to some place that you can support. Oh, did, did I actually say that? Yes, I did. Because your pastor doesn't need a whole bunch of people that doesn't want to support them, and then gets critical of everything they do because that just weighs heavy on their heart. They work real hard to serve you and to serve the vision God's done, and here you are complaining and carrying on and yes, saying stupid stuff to them on Sunday morning, just before they preach. Did I say that? Yes, I did. 
So one, don't say stupid stuff to your pastor Sunday morning just before he preaches. Please don't do that. And please don't write him letters that he or emails that he'll look at Monday morning and cry and seek God and say, God, what, what's with these people that I'm serving? See, I, I know the hurts of pastoring because I pastored a couple of churches. And I, I said, I don't want I don't want any of that and be, decided to be a, a psychiatric nurse and served as a, as a nurse. But here my brother and my father served all these years and no one will ever know in the middle of the night getting called and going to the hospital. Preaching funerals just shortly after they had to say goodbye to their loved ones. Yes, that's right. My brother preached funeral after funeral after funeral after his daughter died. People will never know that. I mean, uh, people will never know the hurts that that he had and the, the sorrow that he had because you get up in the, in, in, behind the pulpit and you preach and you sing and you do what God calls you to do because that's your calling. And that calling is stronger than life itself. So support your pastors. Love your pastors. Have you told your pastor that you love them and that you care for them? And if you don't love them and care for them, what do you do in their, in their church just wasting time when you could go to another church and maybe support a pastor and get behind him? Did he say that again? Yes, I said that again. You see, pastor after pastor all across America and around the world have a burden for that church or that town and God's put that upon them heart that you will never, ever know, folks. Let me, let me talk about heritage. You see, not only is this a tribute to my brother as a pastor, but I want to give it a little bit of a tribute to my father, too. While other kids had to see their dad laying down drunk and couldn't get up, my brother and I often was, would be told to, by my mother, go get your dad and tell him it's time for supper. We'd go over to the church, and my dad would be laying flat on, on the altar, face down on the ground, praying for his church and praying for his family. And so I get dad and say, dad, it's time for supper. And I time after time. And I know my brother spent time and time in the in the church praying for his family praying for anointing praying that god would just give him the right words for that morning and they would preach a sermon and people would come to, to come to christ a and would be changed not only for that moment but changed for eternity and not only changed for them but for their families and their neighborhood and the eternal dividends that would be shared over and over and over again, that we'll never know this side of heaven. So, so when I say goodbye by my brother, I'm sad. Yes. And so many of you have reached out to me and, and uh, told me that you're praying for me. Keep praying. I need it. And you need the practice. And by the way, that saying comes from my father. So as you pray for me and you pray for my brother's family, I also want you to take the time and pray for your pastors and get behind them. Give them a, a positive text. Put something extra in that, in that, envelope for them support them go out of your way to let them know that you love them because you'll never know the lonely mondays that pastors have after the stupid stuff people say to them on sunday just saying 
or or the discouraging things that people say or the folks who they've given their heart to and they turn around and and not only do they leave their church which is okay to leave but they leave with a mess and they leave with with hearts that are broken pastors if you're listening to this some of you are going geez somebody has got guts enough to say this i'll say it and i appreciate you i appreciate you that that have given your life like my brother and like my father all their life to serve the vision that god has had you keep up the high calling that god's given you keep it up don't let the enemy discourage you don't let people discourage you because one day it'll be worth it one day you'll get a chance to see my brother because he'll be standing next to me around the throne of god and we'll be worshiping him together and, and my father will be close by and my mother will be close by but until then folks the best is yet to come there's got there's a lot more to happen and for you pastors out there i want to encourage you now some of you are are, are saying well this kirk and doll guy this andy guy is just ranting and raving but that's all right because some of you need to pass this interview on to somebody else somebody uh, and i say interview because there's nobody here but me and my memories of my my brother <laughs> but pass this message on to somebody else I, I didn't know what I was going to say. I want to speak from my heart. I want to pray that God will touch what I'm saying today and touch you. And I, I know it's different than I normally do for boarding moments. But I just pray the peace of God would help you. God's got a purpose, a plan, a future, and a hope for you. And maybe it's pastoring. Maybe it's something else. But today, not only do, do I want to give you tribute to my best friend, Jack, but I want to give a tribute to all pastors. Thank you for joining me for Morning Moments. And if you would, please, 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 Keep coming back.